Hello again, I'm back talking about the Realtek 2832 based DVB-T demodulator, a USB device that can also serve as a generic SDR receiver for $20. I won't go into the details now, if you like you can refer to my previous video on the XIO plugin that allows you to use it with WinRAD or HTSDR or WR Plus. But this one's specifically to do with GNU Radio now. I just finished writing the native source block for it. So the device is connected into this laptop. As you can see here we've got the RTL2832 source block. I've just hooked that up to an FFT sink and a waterfall sink. Uh, you can actually configure the frequency, the sample rate and the LNA gain and it also has a automatic tuner mode adjustment system where if you change the gain at runtime it will recalculate whether to use the sensitive nominal or linear modes in the tuner if you have the Elonix E4000 tuner in your device. The other supported tuner here is the uh, Fiddy Power FC0013 so if we start it up, then you can see that it's working. It's actually set to, I believe, one megahertz uh, rate. And these here are CB radio repeaters keying up. Uh, if we change this and auto scale, then you can see the uh, spectrum coming up nicely. Don't forget that this device only samples with 8-bit resolution. So it's not going to be as nice, say, with a USRP that has 16-bit resolution, but uh, still I found this works very well, and you can pretty much listen to anything and everything with it. You can change the gain here with the slider, for instance, and you can see those peaks going down, and you can change the frequency at runtime as well. If, for some reason, you accidentally disconnected the device, then things stop gracefully, the flow graph actually exits because it sees that there's a USB error and it signals the end of file on that block. One other thing to note is that the uh, source block is actually multi-threaded inside. There's a separate uh, buffering mechanism to ensure that the samples are buffered smoothly and then passed on to the GNU radio runtime uh, in a, an efficient manner. So if you are a Genia Radio fan and you want to give this a go, you can grab the sources, just head to my website, it's in the link below, and the uh, code is pretty straightforward, the interface code, and I've made a number of notes here on the uh, wiki page. This links to an SVN repository on my website and also the uh, Git repository on GitHub. So if you check it out, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.